Hey guys, welcome back. Wow, I can't believe it. A hundred subs already. Which may not sound like a lot to some people, but to me, that's incredibly special. I want to say thank you to every single one of you for helping my channel to grow. And while I'm at it, I want to thank some of the guys that has helped get my channel off the ground. In no particular order, Fight the Flat Earth, Rainy Beaver, Radical the Unhallowed Knight, Anti Flat Earth, and AB Science. And if you haven't met them yet, what, have you been living in a cave? <laughs> anyway, you can find their links in my subscription list. Give them a visit, a like, and a subscribe. They definitely deserve it. So in keeping with their example, I want to pay it forward. I found a new debunk channel on YouTube that I personally think is incredibly funny. So I invited him over tonight for a debunk party. So please welcome to the show, Jet Monk, the Drunk Monkey. Hello, my fellow monkeys. Hey, Logical, thanks for inviting me over, pal. Hey, Jet Monk. Hey, what are we doing tonight then, bro? I thought it'd be fun to watch Watachi running for he set fire to his own dumpster. Here, let's grab a drink and start the show. Hey, everyone. It's me again. Oh, this video is going to be short, sweet, and to the point. Oh, brother, wait. This is one of my favorite flurfs. This is the old, I am so embarrassed that I will only spew garbage from my car, Flat Earther. I say, this is my opinion because I've looked into it and I don't see any way it can be proven otherwise, but it's only my opinion. And I'll be waiting for all the proof that you globe earthers can come up with. I don't think anyone gives a tosh about his opinion, personally. Um, and another thing, if you want to see, I'd take them glasses off, mate, because you clearly can't see through them glasses. That's your problem. Yep, he's a grade-A fleurfall, right? Going to ignore all the evidence. All the math, like trigonometry, calculus, all the satellites, because, you know, space is fake to these idiots. Even though I don't think you'll have any, but I'm pretty sure you won't have any, but... Let's just hit the point. Yeah, that'd be great with Tachi. Let's make a point. Like, say, sometime today. The sun, sun's distance and size cannot be measured. There's no way they can measure it. Well, personally logical, I think that if he carries on talking like that, his car is going to be full of the biggest pile of dirty underpants I have ever seen. They can't get, if it's a, the size that they say it is, ten times the size of Earth. Brother, please, did he just say that the sun is only ten times larger than the Earth? Did I hear that right? I mean, come on. Oh yeah, you heard that right. Please, he looked into this. Had he even tried for two seconds to look into this, he'd already know that just the diameter of the sun would require 109 Earths to go across it. I mean, seriously, not to mention, it would take 1.3 million Earths to fill the volume of the sun. And it's made up of what they say it's made up of. There's no way they could get within a... 50 million miles of it. Since how they're saying it's 96 million miles away, they couldn't get within 50 million miles of it to measure it or prove its distance. I hope he's not on drugs. He shouldn't be driving that car, should he? He should not. He shouldn't be driving. No, he shouldn't. And you're probably right. Oh, God. What does he want us to do? Get out there with the tape measurer? Now, these same clowns. Who is this clown calling a clown? You clown. A logical clown. Ha <laughs> ha. I think they can sit, I guess, either on a, just a flat desert somewhere or on the ocean or, or maybe on top of a mountain. And they think they can look out and measure the distance to the horizon. Wait a second. Hold the phone. I thought we were talking about the distance to the sun. No, we're on horizon? Ah, oh, come on, clown. Now, the horizon is not even a tangible place. Hot damn! Ding, ding, ding! What that you got something right? Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. 
It's not a tangible place. The horizon is not somewhere you can go to and be at in order to measure its distance. Hey, right again. We use something called math. I'm sure you've heard of it, yeah? If I keep listening to this guy, I'm going to need another drink. Maybe something stronger. You got Jack Daniels? Hey, yeah, no problem. Help yourself. But hey, while you're out there, give babes your car keys. You don't need to be driving home tonight. Oh, okay. Fine. Take my keys. Now, I've been a truck driver, semi-truck driver, for 14 years. I've driven from one side, from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. I know the, well, how many miles is involved in the distance of that. So I can honestly tell you that the United States is roughly around, roughly 3,000 miles uh, wide, depending on where you start and where you stop uh, from ocean to ocean. Brother, logical. He's only going to mix his ass up with his face again. What an absolute pile of poo he spews. What an absolute dork. Yes, he is. But he's more or less right about the size of the United States. But I really have no idea what that has to do with the distance from the Earth to the Sun. Now, in order for them to guarantee that the Sun is 96 million miles away, they have to at least be able to get somewhere close to it. You know, 96 million miles is a long way. How do we know it ain't 87 million miles? This duck build platypus poo thinks we have to get close to the sun to measure it. They can't measure it, folks. So they certainly can't tell us what size it is. Well, hey there. Newsflash. We can. And we did. Aristarchus did that a long time ago. But hey, typical flurf, go ahead and just deny all the facts and evidence. It's ten times the size of Earth. Bullshit. I thought you just explained this one to him, Logical. What an absolute poo. Well, yeah, but we both know that no flurf is going to listen to any evidence at all. It doesn't matter how many words they string together. Effectively, their only argument is, nuh-uh. This is what they've done. They think they've measured the size and distance of the moon. They think the moon is four times smaller than the Earth. And that the distance to the moon is 200 and, what, 36,000 they're saying now? Oh, for Pete's sake, of course we know the distance to the moon, you dork. Don't forget, we've been there. And by your criteria, that's what it takes to take to measurements, right? Because, of course, we can't trust silly little things like, oh, I don't know, math, radar, satellites, oh, and NASA. Forget it. Can't believe that. But they have no facts. They couldn't get to the sun if they wanted to. If they had the technology and the money, they couldn't get there. They can't get to the moon. There are no other planets. They're, you're not on a planet. Logical. Brother, please, do you have anything for my ears? Because this complete, total nonsense is making my ears bleed. Yeah, I know, Jet. He finds it easier to believe in the cosmic snow globe than he does in planets and moons and stars. Oh, but check out this last segment. It gets even better. We're going to find out why. And when you guys finally realize this, maybe the truth will become known to all. But as long as they know they can feed you full of shit and you're going to believe it, they will always do it. Logical, my friend. Could you please do me a favor? Beat me over the head with your club so that I can understand this nonsense. They will always do it. That's how they control you. Divide and conquer. That's their whole thing. They divide the races. They divide men and women. They divide families. They've divided everything, man, to keep us all at each other's throats so that, they, that we don't all turn on them. That's their whole thing. And there you have it, Jet. The mind of a flurf in a nutshell. It all comes down to they. Them. Oh my God, those nefarious 
jerks. And he goes on like this for a few extra minutes. But really, this train wreck is getting way too painful to watch. We'll just have to call it a night. What do you say, Jet? Well, logical. I've thoroughly enjoyed myself today, and I've had a lovely beer. And uh, would you invite me over again next month for another beer and a movie? Sounds good, doesn't it? We could get pizza. Hey, that sounds like a plan. Well, folks, that's about it for tonight's episode of Misguided Meanderings, starring Watachi Running Free. Hope you had a good time. And if you haven't checked out Jet Monk's channel, you can find him in my subscription list. He's Jet Monk the Drunk Monkey. Night, folks. Well, thanks, mate. I've had so much fun. I, um, I think I've had too much tequila. Oh, night, people.